Welcome to the Frontier Communications American Women's Basketball Championship. We are at the Mohican Sun Arena in Uncasville, Connecticut, and this afternoon in the quarterfinals, it will be the ninth seed Tulsa versus the number one seed and 11-time national champion, Yukon Huskies. You want to slowly ramp her up, and you also want to see how she responds the next day. How does she feel? So that will all show itself, but I know they're going to be very cautious with her. Bruce Morris tossed the ball up. He's working with Jeff Smith and Maggie Tiemann. UConn won both regular season meetings with Tulsa. You know, for UConn, they just want to be ex you know, crisp and execute. You see a quick slip by Gabby Williams. In a row, the all-time record shattering their own previous record. And Gabby Williams is two field goal attempts, and they're both layups. UConn 12 and 0 in the Mohegan Sun Arena in its history, and Nurse with her first basket of the game. Block this season. <laughs> She'll block some more. Sean gets a good quick step and gets right by Wakefield. That oh, rule. No, she's, she's a team player. I know <laughs> Nick was a teammate of mine and a very good friend. But yeah, she was looking at the, the records and I was like, OK. One player in the country in her class. Collier down low to Williams, who now has four layups. But they'll take it. Nobody tries to bank it in from that far away anymore. Great look inside Williams to Samuelson and one. Yeah, that the, the, what's going on down low? She knew that there was a high low. Samuelson is posting up a smaller guard. And again, throw it up in the quick turn for the finish. The field replacing Nurse. Samuelson reversal to Collier. She shel seldom shoots from out there. It doesn't matter, does it? With the Miss Collier rebound quickly out to Dangerfield, who's UConn's quickest player. And she spins and uses the glass. Sean quickly the other way, Dangerfield. Sean for three. Was it? Getting some foul trouble. What a quick, quick slip and turn of the head to see the ball and grab it. Excellent job. See, a lot of times, post players, she's running into that pick and she gets out of there quick. That's a slip. But again, locating the basketball, passing in the right spot, and then obviously concentration on the finish. Collier, Samuelson, and Williams. It's, it's, they keep it coming. A nice execution. It contests every single shot. I mean, they're flying at somebody. Nice pass. Another. Layup for Connecticut. Entry pass into the post. Samuelson Dixon tried to foul her, but she could get a whistle. All post players, but the size of their guards is really a problem. It creates a lot of problems on the offensive end, as you see him turnover for a quick bucket. Right now, Connecticut putting the pressure on. Cole, you're getting your hands on, and they're running the floor. You're exactly. absolutely so, right. <laughs> Go to the line. <laughs> Here's Samuelson for three. Throw, I mean, I, I definitely I'm in a mindset of obviously move the ball around, but I'd let her have a touch almost on every possession. Inside Collier got bumped by Elliott. It didn't matter. Basket. She finally missed the shot. Her first miss. Samuelson for three. You need reps. You need game like reps. Samuelson misses the three. Sean stuck her nose in there and deflected it to Butler and the foul. Syracuse was there for the first time last year. Great anticipation. Williams with the steal ahead to Dangerfield. Two on one with Chong to the trailer. Collier. A little bit. She's already seeing again turnover right here. And take care of the basketball. We see Dangerfield surveying, surveying, surveying. Takes her time. Good news for Connecticut. Samuelson's got a little bit too much space Three. left, but she can finish with both hands on the block. Williams penetrates out to Samuelson for another three. Samuelson finally missed one, but no one boxed out Collier. Mm -hmm. Williams puts it on the deck and uses the glass, replacing Kia Nurse. Off the inbound, no one bothered to guard Williams. But good concentration, knowing that the pressure's on. They finally found UConn's defense, uh, their, <laughs> their weakness. Traffic, I mean, five foot four, split and getting it up there, getting the floater up. Could possibly change it. 
Maryland is one of the two seeds according to Charlie. Sean with another three. <laughs> You're right about that. You heard it here first. <laughs> Down low to ball. I, I remember opening their closest win all season was opening night with Florida State. Florida State has shot at the buzzer for the win. Down low, Kyler Irwin. Tremendous rivalry that existed first between UConn and Rutgers and then between UConn and Notre Dame. Molly Beck beats the shot clock. Tarasi. And she makes everybody around her better. I mean, not only can she, as you see Butler with a little square run. Yeah. Tarasi would only be 38. I wouldn't put it past him. Low block to Butler. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. On the drive, Dangerfield hits the shot. It is the best NBA coach of all time, although Greg Popovich is entering the conversation. Right. And he will be the next men's coach. Great look down low to Chan for the layup. Yeah, so, yeah, by all means, yeah, you forget the score, you try to execute, you try to get better individually as a group. This year, Dangerfield with the stop and go, and there's your 100. <laughs> they want Molly Bent to, to shoot. Well, they, want, they want Tierney Lawler to get on the board, yeah, but hey, Bent, yeah. Bent will do it instead. <laughs> Three seconds to go, Perez throws it up, no good. And for the 12th consecutive year, UConn has won 30 games. They beat Tulsa 105-57.